Welcome to Lorizo. In today's video, we'll talk about one reason why dragon fruit flowers turn yellow and drop off even when pollinators are present. We will identify self-sterile dragon fruit varieties and discuss what to do to make them produce fruits. Some varieties of dragon fruit are self-sterile. That means they can't be pollinated with their own pollens. Self-sterile dragon fruit plants can be very healthy. They can be getting enough sunlight. They can be getting enough water and nutrients. And yes, they can be flowering profusely, but still produce no fruit. They cannot produce fruits unless their flowers are cross-pollinated with pollens from a different variety. Without cross-pollination, the flowers would just eventually turn yellow and drop off. It's a good idea to have at least two different varieties of dragon fruit plants in your farm or garden, especially if you're not sure if what you have is self-pollinating. There's got to be another dragon fruit of a different variety close by for self-sterile varieties to cross-pollinate with. GrowDF.com provides a list of self-sterile and self-pollinating varieties of dragon fruit. What we are showing here is just a list of confirmed self-sterile dragon fruit varieties. We have excluded those with conflicting information. Always ask your cutting supplier what variety or varieties of dragon fruit you are getting from them. Knowing the inherent properties of your dragon fruit can save you a lot of time, money, and effort. Having two or more varieties of dragon fruit in your garden is just one of the requirements for getting self-sterile dragon fruit to fruit. You should also take note of the times your dragon fruit flowers are opening. In order for natural cross pollen pollination process to take place dragon fruit plants of different varieties should flower at the same time. Dragon fruit flowers open at night and last only until the following morning when they start to wither and close. Natural pollinators such as bees should be able to transfer pollens between flowers of different varieties within that very short time window. If the transfer doesn't happen, self-sterile dragon fruit would still not bear any fruit. If you have different dragon fruit varieties, flowering at different times, you should pollinate them yourself. Collect pollens and store in a refrigerator in an airtight container. You can keep pollens in a refrigerator for one to two weeks while waiting for flowers of other varieties to open. When they open, manually cross-pollinate them using the pollens you collected from different varieties. Use a paintbrush, a cosmetic brush, or a cotton swab to apply the pollens onto the stigma of the flowers. Cross-pollination doesn't have to be limited to self-sterile varieties. You can cross-pollinate different dragon fruit plants even if they are both self-fertile. Cross-pollination reportedly results in bigger sizes and better quality of fruits regardless of variety. To learn more about pollination, you can watch our other video, How to Hand Pollinate Your Dragon Fruit Pitaya Plants. Also, we recommend watching our other videos related to dragon fruit growing. We are posting videos not only about dragon fruits but about other plants as well. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe now and hit the notification bell. This way, you can be notified whenever we post new videos. This concludes our presentation for today. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye.